Today's video is gonna be a fucking mess. <laughs> Sorry, I said the word mess, but my voice peaked. Hi everyone, so today, finally, the video you have all been longing for, and I actually mean that because people have literally been like, Adam, the clock is ticking, why haven't you been talking about this? Now, it is gonna be talking about Jeffree Star and his new man and the controversy that came around that because of course he could not do anything without there being some fucking problem attached to it and that's exactly what happened with this. Now, I need to pour my Red Bull. I have one that's bigger than the size of my head today so that's good, you know, refills. But this relationship that Jeffree Star posted online, which by the way, he didn't have to post this relationship online. Here's a picture of them together. Now Jeffree is saying about how people are so obsessed with his relationship and stuff, but he had the choice to, now you're not gonna overfill, bitch. Go down. Sorry. Now he had the option not to make this relationship public, so it's very weird to me that someone who dated Nate very publicly, his last boyfriend, and that kind of went to shit, and he decides, ah, I've been dating this person for like a week. What's the best thing I can do? Ah, publish it all over my social media, and whenever there's controversy around it, post more. And then whenever there's more controversy, post an ass pic. Because that actually happened. Funny story. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna hate me. You're gonna fucking hate me. I'm not gonna show it on the screen, because I would probably... Allegedly. Get demonetized. But let me tell you what happened. Jeffree Star... <laughs> Posted a picture of his ass him walking in a supermarket and his ass was out and it was obviously taken by his new boyfriend <laughs> And you could see his like underwear like boxers in there or whatever And so uh, I thought it would be funny <laughs> To download the picture and put it into face chin and go into the draw brush tool and add <coughs> Sorry add brown stains <laughs> in the boxers, so it made it look like Jeffree Star had sharded himself. <laughs> and people believed it. Again, I wish I could show you the picture, but literally the picture is so like out there that this would get demonetized, but like people thought, people thought it was real and people were like, um, I just went and checked and this was not the real version. I was like, oh fucking course it wasn't. So anyway, I had po I had posted that and it looked like Jeffree Star had shit himself. <laughs> Sorry, it's not even that funny. Wait, why was that related to my story? Oh, his boyfriend took the picture, okay. So I caused my own little Jeffree controversy. <laughs> So honestly, I'm not gonna take this bullshit from Jeffree Star. He's like, why is my relationship getting trashed online? Whenever he knew that his last relationship got like that and he made his relationship new one, very public, very sim, which makes me believe Allegedly. that this is a PR relationship because even with Nate, it wasn't like this. Allegedly. Like he is pushing. I don't know if he's trying to make Nate jealous. I don't know if he's trying to make the public think he's not a racist anymore. Because that's very much so something this could be, and a lot of people are speaking out about the fact that they believe that he's now with his new man to try to come across as cleaning up his act, which is so disgusting that people's mind even goes there. But whenever it's Jeffree Star, can you really blame these people? You know what I mean? And Jeffree, how bad is it that people literally are jumping to the conclusion that they think you're with this person dating allegedly this new person? Why did I say allegedly when I could have just done that? To clear up your act and try to come across as these scandals are like null that have happened to you in the past. Isn't that awful? That like people think that that's just another thing you would do? Right? And people were normalizing the fact that, oh yeah, like he's probably just dating him because of this. Like that's not normal. That is not, not normal. Feeling broken, barely holding on. Oh, I forgot I was recording. <laughs> that was my share impression. <laughs> Sometimes I just so night when I'm recording. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so unfocused today. It's this. How did you think of my share impersonation? Feeling broken. Barely holding on. Do you know that song? It's from Burlesque. Anyway, sorry, okay, so aside from people thinking this relationship was PR, another controversy that has happened is the partner that Jeffrey is now with, ex partner, has spoken out. And this was literally big news. This was making media, like main media, mainstream media news. 
That's why it kind of feels like PR. Allegedly. Right? Does this relationship just like straight up feel like PR to any of you? Because it's like being, okay, let's, anyway, let's get into it. So, these are the posts from the ex-lover of Jeffrey's new man. One thing I want to get out of the way before we get into all this is, mainstream media and the general public are using this relationship with Jeffree Star and this new man to kind of normalize homophobia. I've seen that a lot. And now, no matter what your opinions are of Jeffrey as new man put together, you know what I mean, like, you're normalizing being so homophobic and that's damaging to the LGBTQ plus community. Like taking aside Jeffree Star and his new relationship, there's been a lot of normalized homophobic like news article titles that I've been seeing and even people like making fun of their relationship, not because of their relationship, but making fun of it because it's a man and a man. But no one's really addressing that. And I'm going to read out these posts from the ex of this new man and a lot of people are jumping to being homophobic towards the new man because of her post. Now, this man could very well be bisexual, he could be gay, he could be, you know what I mean? Like, first of all, fuck labels, fuck labels 2020, you know what I mean? But like, there's no need to, let's focus on Jeffrey and what he's doing with this relationship rather than, you know what I mean? Like, this man is probably, doesn't give a shit about Jeffrey, he's getting his bag, but like, let's stop normalizing homophobia, right? Okay. Woo! Oh my god, it sounds like jackpot machines. You don't know if you went like, woohoo, woo, woohoo, woo! That was like insanely accurate. Am I okay? That was kind of good. Woohoo, woo! I'm never gonna get into the main subject of this video. Ah, I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Why am I like delaying? I'm like weird. I'm like quirky. Stop, Adam. So, let's put this up on the screen. These are the many, but not all, posts that the ex put up of the new man. So, first one says, My ex on the shade room for fucking Jeffree Star <laughs> is not how I plan to start my day. <laughs> this is not my L. This shit is just funny how I was telling the timeline that sometimes black men kiss white men's asses in certain situations, making them look like the white man's toilet paper. And here is the clear example. He doesn't even like black people. About Jeffree Star, I'm just gonna- Allegedly. Jeffree, don't come for me. And then the post on the right says, My son matters. My son was so happy last week. I don't know if it's about money, but this hurts a lot and affects my son. God, please help me to keep my head up for my son because this shit is unreal. Please help me, God, to be strong for my son. This ruins my whole family. Okay, now the next post says, tell me what I've done to you. Tell why to expose yourself but my son. Money? Question mark? Because I could have worked harder to make our life better. I was your ride or die. I could have done anything to save our relationship. Anything. She's very pretty. Okay, so these posts have me feeling some sort of way. Um, but I don't know how to phrase it. I, oh, I don't know how to, like, I do I don't know, like, she, her posts make it seem like she was, didn't know anything about her partner's sexuality, or alleged sexuality, if this is a PR relationship, or, you know what I mean, and it's very much so, like, oh, like, my son is now being put at risk, and this is harming my son, and it's like, um, I don't understand if she means that, because, He's with Jeffree Star, and Jeffree Star is Jeffree Star. But if she means it like her ex is now with a man, then woman, what? Because let's not do that. But I completely understand the Jeffree Star argument, but I'm saying like, if you're gonna be like, oh, you're now with a man, like you've ruined my son's life. Okay, but if you want to say you're with Jeffree Star, you're ruining my son's life, like, that's a completely different argument. I am O, but, like, I don't know. These posts have me feeling some sort of way. And especially that, like, she woke up to find out about this relationship from the shade room, but yet she was with the husband, like, last week. Like, they, like, Jeffree and their new man must have been literally moving quick, which is, like, isn't that, like, a PR relationship if... 
It's moving so quick and it's so public so fast. And now keep in mind, this broke the news and was really much a distraction about Jeffree Star in the media from all these scandals and the palette flopping. So it's not the most bizarre concept, in my opinion, that this is a PR relationship. But I'm not going to, like, jump to, well, maybe, yeah, like, this is, do you understand? This is, like, this has way too many layers. You know what I mean? Like, way too many. Y'all, how we feeling? Okay, so, she was obviously not happy, and there were many, many, many more posts that she did that I'm not gonna read out, a lot more of them. She was very upset, basically, and listen, I extend my best wishes to her, her son. I get it, this situation's a bit weird. Okay. I'm like, I'm like nervous to say any more. <laughs> Feeling broken, barely hold. Can I stop my fucking share impression, or else I'm gonna lose my mind? Oh, manazza, oh, manazza, oh, manazza. Ooh, 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 yeah. ooh. I don't know what it is about my attention span today. That was my Britney Spears impression. Okay, anyway, I asked my subscribers for their opinion. I said opinions. Ah, Jeffrey's new man's ex partner is speaking out. Now I just want you to know how big of a news story this has been and continues to be because Jeffrey is not letting it die down. Celi said knowing Jelly Sawyers, <laughs> he's probably gonna come a baby girl. She's got every right to be hurt and upset. I feel for her. Gigi said, was anyone else not convinced that Jeffree Star's boyfriend was with him willingly? He's probably with him because he's getting paid. Ditto said, y'all never trust a man or woman that dates down like this guy. He has a child and is acting a fool for money. Lazy. Kenny Shah said, these tweets are most likely from a place of hurt, which is understandable, but she would know him the best, which means her thinking that he is just kissing his ass speaks volumes. Ooh, that's true. Janky Stanky. Okay, is most likely using this man to better appeal to the black community. Newsflash, just because you bought yourself some chocolate arm candy does not mean you are not racist. Period. Amber said, Safari Jar, why is there constantly like new nicknames? I feel like I've heard them all, but like there's still more. He most likely doesn't give a crap about his BF's child and ex-girlfriend like how he doesn't give a crap about anyone other than himself. Fuel Addiction said, I don't know how legit this relationship is. It seems like if you're really into someone, you would want to keep that to yourself, especially whenever it's being thrown around in the media right now. Seems like a tactical move instead of a relationship and Allegedly. I agree. Jay said something which I raised the issue again, but I want to show that my audience as well are thinking on the same lines as me. People are using this situation to be homophobic and I'm disgusted. Let's insult Jeffrey as a person. <laughs> Let's insult Jeffrey as a person, not the LGBTQ community as a whole. Thanks. Boo said, I don't understand the need to overshare online. Why are you telling everyone your business, Jeffrey? We all know you, Jeffrey Star, and that you're a raw sewage. And that you have no role in breaking up any relationship. The only people responsible are those involved. She has no reason to be speaking out regardless of her thoughts and the thoughts of others. Her ex is a grown man. That is his business. He has the right to make stupid decisions. She doesn't need to talk about anything. It looks bad on her because it looks like she would rather start drama than privately talk to her ex and handle things offline. I think her actions were because they weren't doing it to her privately. So she was trying to, you know, have people actually listen. So... That's my perception of it. Anyway, I might be wrong. People keep talking about how will this per child survive? What per child? So many children deal with divorces. So many children have parents who end up in relationships with shitty people. The latter point is a sad reality, but it's the truth. As someone who really follows none of these people, but is aware of Jeffree Star, honestly, my huge question is why are people making this into a huge bullaboo? It's because it's Jeffree Star, but also him dating a black man. How many do we see get into relationships with problematic people? This person just happens to have infamous and public records of their terrible deeds online about Jeffrey. I'm sick of the homophobic people popping up online. Either way, that man can still be a part of the child's life. Jeffrey Star didn't abduct him and take him to another planet, for goodness sake. We'll read out one more. So the beauty demon said, even my husband who doesn't pay attention to drama is like, he's just desperate for a black boyfriend, huh? I just think it's so bad that people, and so many people, are coming to a similar, like, understanding and kind of 
educated guess that maybe this is what it has to be about or PR and it's just kind of like if you're Jeffree Star how are you just gonna be like yeah I'm just gonna sit back like let the rumors come in because that's on your like character right Allegedly. it's a bit weird and this entire relationship is so sketchy like the relationship is sketchy how it started right the fact that it's being so public and so like sexual publicly like even Nate and Jeffrey weren't like this so close to the start then the full drama with the ex-girlfriend or ex-wife I don't actually know what the relationship was like and just everything like the back and forth and the unnecessary like you know what I mean? And I genuinely don't think as many news articles that were writing about this story actually give a shit about it, which makes me think it is PR. Allegedly. But I want to know what you think about that. So let's talk about that below, right? I love you, I will see you in my next video, and peace out! Whoa. I'm having my little opera moment. Mariah McIntyre. And you're watching Adam Channel. I love Lizzie McGuire. I love Hilary Duff. Oh, bye.